Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. First things first, I got a new camera. Let me know if you guys like it. I think the quality is a lot better. This is supposed to be recording in 4K. So, I don't know. I, I might be uh, using the wrong cord. But today we're going to be talking about the status, the status of GPU mining May 10th, 2021. I'm falling over my words. I'm very excited because it's it's been a very profitable past couple days for me. So, we're on whattomine.com. The link's going to be in the description as always. I got a couple things I want to show you guys. First off, 3090 right now is making $25.50 before electric. That's just insane. And it's with Ethereum. If you guys didn't know, Ethereum just broke $4,000. I was like, what? That's insane. I I would did, I woke up to that and I was very very happy. It was I was it was like Christmas morning and I was 12 years old. It was awesome. So you can see the profitability is through the roof. I think the 3090 about like four or five days ago, we hit an all time high. It was mining like uh, $10 a day. Like it was rough. And uh, a lot of people thought, you know, the craze was over, that it was going to be done. But uh, it it's clearly not. Ethereum is doing amazing right, well, right now. Falling over my words again. Um, what I have is the 3070s and 16800 XT. I got three 3070s, a fourth one on the way, and then I also have a 6800 XT and a 6700 XT on the way. Cards like this, which are usually making four, three to four dollars a day, are now making eight dollars a day. And it's just insane. Like I had 1070s. Now they're making $5 a day. I, they, they were making $5 a day when I had two of them. And now each single one is making, well, it should be $6 a day before electric. These are just unreal numbers. And this is May 10th. So you guys can see it's like, it's awesome right now. I'm very happy. The Ethereum price, like I said, pushed over 4000 It's been pretty steady. I mean, there's ups and downs, but it looks like it's on a pretty steady trend to go up. And we should be looking at possibly $5,000, maybe the end of June. And I think that's a very conservative uh, guess. I think this is going to hit $5,000 by the end of May, if I'm being honest with you. Because it was at $2,000 a month ago. And now it is doubled. We could be even seeing $6,000 for one price, one coin of Ethereum. So, this is my current profitability, right? I'm mining to this address. You guys can see it because I really don't care. If you guys want to send me money, totally okay with that. Currently, I've mined 0.45 Ethereum, which is equivalent. It's a little over 1,200. I believe I can search 0.45 ETH to USD. It is $1,800. Wow, it's a lot more than I thought. That's how much I've mined, and I've been mining for about a month, a month and a half. You can see, on average, I'm making like, $22 a day and I had all my calculations so that I would make $22 a day I'd break even in about 90 days with about $3,500 worth of equipment I broke even incredibly fast because the mining profitability has been insane the last 24 hours I've made $46 that's double what I usually make it's it's crazy it's crazy so if you guys want to get into GPU mining, I do not think this craze is going to be over. I think this is far from over. We've seen a lot of spikes with Ethereum. The price has gone up a lot and the profitability has gone up a lot. And then we've also had days where it's been really rough. But, I mean, I don't think this is this is going to go anywhere. This is staying around for a while. And even if ETH hash gets uh, blocked when they come out with the Ethereum uh 1559 EIP 1559 there's still a very good chance that uh other coins like you can already see I've never heard of this coin ERG auto Lycos is probably on an ETH hash algorithm or something like that something along that lines it's it's going to be very very profitable for a long time now you guys probably want to know how do I get these graphics cards because they're not readily easily available to get well there's a few options you can do you can do new egg product shuffle which shows you every day, about every day, they launch a whole bunch of cards. What you do is you select them all, click submit. There's a submit button down here. You enter in for all of them. And basically it's a lottery system. So if you win the lottery system, 
you get the opportunity to purchase it. You do not have to purchase it. If you choose not to purchase it, you can give it back to the shop and basically it's first come first serve. It'll show up on their normal uh, buy area and someone, someone probably a robot is going to buy it. There's also nowinstock.com. This is a great website for anything if you guys want it. But if you go product trackers, they got NVIDIA GPUs. You can set whatever GPU you want. In this case, you're most likely looking for a 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080, or 3090. I like going for the 3070s. It's a great middle of the road, and it seems like not a lot of people go after them. They go for the 3080s, and to be honest with you, I kind of wish I went for a couple 3080s because it's making eight dollars more that's amazing but if you want you go here and you can see all of the places where it could be in stock now there's also a telegram channel so if you go to nowinstock.net on your phone and click the telegram channel it will send you a invite to their telegram channel and then you will get live notifications whenever there is in stock now if it is an amazon stock you have a very low chance of actually getting the item because there are bots all over Amazon. So if you try to purchase it, chances are there's a robot that has already gotten it before you even add it to cart. They are very, very fast and it's very hard to get them. You can try. I've had no success and it's been about three or four months of me trying to buy these on Amazon. My best thing that I've been able to find these on is Best Buy and AMD.com. Now, when they do drop, there is not a set in stone date. So if I go to amd.com, brings me to the website, you can see check amd.com availability. Look, all this out of stock. They're not going to tell you when they drop because they have the element of surprise. Same thing if I go with bestbuy.com. What they do is sometimes they launch on a certain day and then other times they launch on a different day. They don't have a set schedule. They change it up all the time. Almost every drop, they change it to try to keep people on their feet and to try to get, you know, give everyone an equal and fair chance to get it. But of course, there are people that are just sitting at their computers 24 7 waiting for the drops. If you want to know about the Best Buy and the AMD drops, sometimes they show up on nowinstock.net. So the Telegram, being a part of the Telegram channel is awesome because it will send you notification to your phone instead of staring at this all day. There's also live streams. I follow this live stream by Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. And it has every card and CPUs, every website, and it gives a sound when it's in stock. He also has a Discord server, which I enjoy a lot more because it, it's, I feel like it's a lot quicker and they notify you when there is a Best Buy drop and an AMD drop. They are the best case scenario, and that is how you get your stuff. I got one 6800 XT off of AMD. I got two uh, EVGA XC3 3070s off of Best Buy, and I also got two... 3070s from Newegg buying pre-built computers. Now you can also buy pre-built computers. If I go to, I'm going to bring up the discord that this guy discussed. There is a HP computer right now that you can actually buy. It's going to ship on June 7th. So if you guys are seeing this video now, I would recommend if you want a 3070 jump on this because this is going to go quickly. There is, it's not the best specs. I mean, I don't know much about AMD, but it's an AMD Ryzen 5. You get Windows 10 Home, 8 gigs of memory. I just know that that's not the best. 256 M.2 SSD. I picked no secondary storage, no third, because you want to get the cheapest thing. And then you can do 3070, and you will get it for 1579. Now, the 3070s, if I go on eBay and I search up an RTX 3070, I go to sold. They're at an all-time high as well because people are seeing that the profitability is through the roof. If I would have kept my cards, because I sold them, um, I sold a few a while ago. If I would have kept them, I could have sold them for 
$200, $300 more. It's just insane. And these are the Founders Editions ones. These cost like $400, $500. So these guys are making a killing on these cards. But they're selling for like $1,500. So you can get a amazing computer with all that stuff and sell the graphics card and you'll make that much. Now, I'm sure if you guys are looking to find a 3070, you're not probably planning on selling it, but I'm just pointing that out that the graphics card is worth more than the computer at this point, which is insane. I didn't think it would like become this. Like usually it's it's pretty fair the the GPU and the other parts it's not like one is worth the entire computer. That just that just wouldn't even make sense. So but now they are. Now these graphics cards are selling for fifteen fifty, and this one's sold. It's just unreal. I believe they also have uh, thirty sixty Ti you can get, but it's a little bit more expensive. But they do have different options here. If I click compare options, I can scroll down and you can see that I can pick a thirty seventy or a thirty seventy. They have different options here. Uh, there is a 3060 Ti somewhere. I forget where it is. Maybe if I click one of these. Um, if I scroll down here. No. But there is a 2080 Ti. It says it's your best deal. But the cool part about this. You can look. Oh, look. A 5700 XT. How much is that going to make? It's going to make $11.98 a day. Now, given this is a very high market. Don't count on it being... $11.98 a day forever. I would bank on it. If it's making 55 mega hash, I would bank on it being about $8 a day consistently, averagely, average. That would be a, more, a conservative guess. And you can basically, all right, if I want to get this 2080 Ti, but wait, it doesn't even make sense because it's going to cost $350 more. I want to get the 3070. That actually makes zero sense why they'd give you the 2080 Ti. I'm going to get the 3070. And that makes about $10 a day on a good day. I would say, yeah, it's on average. It's about the same as the 5700 XT. So, okay, let's do $8 a day. I'll just bring up my calculator here. If you get 2278 divided by $8, you will make your ROI in 284 days. That's only with one card and you get an insane computer out of it. And this is some random computer. This is giving you 32 gigs of RAM. If I go back to the cheap one that I was talking about that you can actually get for, where is it? You can actually get it for 1579 and I close the calculator out. I don't know why. If I do 1579, it'll probably be 1600 or 16. Let's just do 1650 just for taxes divided by eight. 206 day ROI. If we go 1650, Divided by 10, it's, it's 165 day ROI. What is that? Uh, four months almost. And then you got your entire computer paid for. Like what? That's unreal. And if the prices of Ethereum go up, I mean, look at that. Like I made this much money in 30 days, just passive income. Like it's insane. If the price of Ethereum goes up, you're going to be making a lot more money. You're going to be making... If the 3070 is at 1268 right now, if Ethereum goes up to $5,000, $6,000, you're going to be looking at like 17 bucks. That's that's my guess. $17 a day with one card. I keep going to I keep closing the calculator. But if the price goes up and you're at 1650 right now, like I said with the conservative price, divided by $17 a day, that's 97 days. That's like barely over three months ROI, return on investment. That this is like I, I can't even wrap my my mind around how quickly you can hit your return on investment. Like this is unheard of. And after that, like if you buy the computer, you mine, you can just sell it afterwards. If you made your money back, easy. You know? And who's to say the, these might even go up in price? They're at fifteen hundred dollars. These could be worth like two grand in not even by the end of May. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you guys uh, enjoy what I'm doing. I'm I'm trying to do some different stuff, trying to see what lands with you guys. I'm noticing that the Chia videos and the Helium videos. I've made a couple of them. They've gotten a lot of views. 
I don't know how many of you guys are actually subscribed. And even if you guys watch my videos all the way through, I could just be ranting at this point. I would greatly appreciate your guys' feedback because I'm trying to improve the content I'm providing to you. Basically, what I'm trying to do is just record. Even if I mess up, I'm going to try and record all the way through because I want it to be as natural and as as like as we're having a conversation i want it to feel like i'm talking to you and you're just listening i don't want it to be like oh this and that and this and that i want to do the research with you guys get together and i i want to have fun doing this so if you guys have any things you guys want me to look at any coins i mean if i go to coin market cap i know dogecoin is down right now if you guys want me to talk about any coins any projects that are up and coming please Comment down below and tell me and I will do some research research on them before I make a video and we can see if it's a good choice or a bad choice financially. Um, and of course, it's not financial advice, but I'm just saying this is what I would do. And if you guys choose to follow that, that's up to you. I have made bad decisions before. I have lost money, but I've also made money. So this has been the longest outro ever. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great night or day. All right, I'm going to stop recording.